Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Right now we have author Chandra Blumberg here to tell us all about her brand new novel called Digging Up Love. Very excited to have her here and meet her virtually. Congratulations, this is your debut novel. How does it feel to have it out? Um, absolutely wonderful. This is uh, sort of a lifelong dream come true for me. Uh, I always dreamed of becoming an author, so it's been wonderful, an amazing experience. And I loved reading just the description of this book. It combines several things that I wouldn't have thought go together, so I'm intrigued. Those things are baking, paleontology, powerlifting, so tell me more. Uh, yes, so uh, you know they they say there's this old adage that says you know write the book that you want to read. So that was really true for me because I absolutely adore all of those things. I love to bake. Um, I fell in love with uh, dinosaurs when I saw the movie Jurassic Park as a kid, and um, uh, lifting weights has been a big part of my life since college. So. I sort of just incorporated all these things that I really enjoy and along with romance because I've always been an avid romance reader. So describe just the basic premise of this book. Yes, yeah, so a small town baker um, meets a paleontologist from Chicago when a dinosaur bone is discovered in the backyard of the home that she shares with her grandparents. So he comes out to investigate this find and um, it's sort of this very unique cute that takes place in you know, this muddy dig site um, where there's a gigantic dinosaur bone and their romance progresses from there. And of course, there's some parents that hop in and complicate matters as they tend to yes. do. So just a lot of fun, romantic, and just very excited about this. Where is it available? Is it out right now? Um, it comes out on January 1st. And um, you can find it in almost, you know, most places that books are sold. You can find it in um, print, also Kindle and audiobook on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, and also local indie bookstores. And I'd love to hear a little more about your journey as an author. You said writing a book was something you always wanted to do, and you wrote the book you wanted to read, and now we all want to read it as well, to be honest. But you're also a mom. You have a very busy schedule. How did you make this work? Um, well, so yes, I have four young kids, and I actually drafted the first draft um, during the March 2020 pandemic shutdown. I had been writing uh, nonfiction prior to that, and I sort of wanted to pivot and go back to writing fiction. And so it was sort of very much an escape for me at that point, you know, when, when you, I think we all experienced during that time of lockdown, especially, you know, of course, if you had a family, all those people in the house, or, you know, if you were alone, either way, it was, you know, a, a very, a time of very much uncertainty. So writing the book um, sort of gave me that grounding. Um, and in regards to finding time to write with young kids, I just, you know, I sort of do it whenever and wherever I can. I, you know, in those little moments of time that I get, I, I make sure that I make the most of them. You make the most of it and don't wait for that perfect moment for inspiration to strike, for everything to be ideal. It sounds like you just create mm -hmm. the moment and you're ready and make it work. Yes, totally. Yes, just seize, seize that moment because you never know, it might be, five minutes, you might, you might get an hour here and there, and of course, uh, late nights and early mornings. I think it's an excellent perspective for anyone that's writing amidst a very busy life and schedule. And I know also that diverse representation in art is very important to you. How does that come through in this novel? Um, well, so uh, the heroine, Alicia, she is um, a biracial black woman, and um, the hero, Quentin, uh, is also um, a biracial black man. He's uh, black and uh, Latino. So it's very important in my own life because, of course, I am um, a biracial black woman. And so I think that it's so wonderful that we are getting now these diverse stories um, in art because it shows that uh, minorities are not a monolith. Everyone's experience is different. Um, and we know this, of course, but to have it in the written word, um, it, it builds empathy. And it also is so important um, for people to see themselves to look you know, in a book and say, wow, I am not the only one that's experienced this. You know, It's this sort of incredible moment when it's, it's very affirming, I think, to have that um, in literature. 
And of course, with 2022 right around the corner, your book is coming out at the very beginning of this year. What else are you seeing as trends as far as books within this new year? Um, so I, I think that we're going to see a lot more um, of the retellings that we've seen, which I think is wonderful. Um, they have, uh, you know, sort of uh, remixes on the classics, both classic novels and stories like fairy tales. And then also it seems like we're continuing to see books, um, especially in the romance world, um, where the uh, story is sort of very self-aware, like people have seen rom-coms and um, read romances, so they know about sort of the tropes and the things that are going to happen um, as they're happening to them. And I think it's, it's really fun um, to, to take it and sort of have this self-awareness in the genre and then play with that. And I don't want to jump too far ahead, but I'm curious about if you're working on something else next. I want you to be able to enjoy this huge moment that you have of having this big debut novel happening. But I think we're always thinking about more writing. And of course, we're going to want to read more from you. Uh, yeah, so I, my second novel is coming out um, in the summer next year, and it's called Stirring Up Love. It is uh, the sequel to Digging Up Love, and it's an enemies to lovers this time. So it has sort of a very fun, um, a, a sort of a different vibe than the first book, different dynamic. So it's a lot of fun, I think, to switch gears and sort of write that. Um, but it's also another uh, foodie romance, uh, this time on the savory side instead of sweet. Digging Up Love uh, deals a lot with baked goods and cookies. So this time it, it deals a lot with barbecue. So that was really fun to write. Well, I'm a big reader and I can't wait to read Digging Up Love. Where can we find more information about you, the book, and follow along with everything you're writing and make sure we also don't miss the sequel? Uh, yeah, so you can go to my website, uh, which is my name, ChandraBloomberg.com. And then you can also find me all across uh, social media on Instagram and Twitter, at Chandra Bloomberg. And then on Facebook, I'm at ChandraBloomberg.author. Well, thank so you. I'd so love to connect with you. We would that. love to connect with you as well. Thank you so much, Chandra, for joining us today. Really appreciate your time. It's been a pleasure meeting you, hearing more about this great book and everything you're doing within the art and literature world. You can find out more about Chandra Bloomberg online and get her book. Everywhere books are sold coming up at the first of the year. We'll be back here on Mountain Connections right after this.